Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back. Um, this is the uh, the fitter test part two. How to take a fitter's test. Had some people ask some some questions about it, so let's let's go ahead and go over this. So, uh, common rules in when you take a, a fitter's test: uh, no phones or devices allowed. Um, you may not leave during the testing. Uh, any violation of the rules, you may be disqualified for employment and in the failure, you know, that you fail to test, you may retest in 30 days. So these are pretty generic rules, but however, they're not standard. So sometimes depends on the, the reason you're taking a test. I know some guys who've been promoted, um, they wait like 90 days, something like that. If it's a certification exam, you may have to wait like up to six months. So it really just depends. This one here, they're saying 30 days. Um, far as, you know, being asked to leave, I know guys have been asked to leave a lot of times, like in some of these powerhouses, they're pretty serious about these cell phones. Um, 35 minutes, that's, that's pretty short. There must not be a lot of questions on here. Cause I know when I took my NCCR, they gave me like 90 minutes, I believe it was. So these are pretty common. So let's see here. Question number one. What is the total takeoff for a six inch long radius 90? So you got two types of elbows here. You got a long radius and short radius. Uh, industrial piping, we use long radius a lot more often. So the long radius 90 is uh, times 1.5. So if it's six inch pipe, that would be nine inches. And so it's a nine inch takeoff. Three types of OLEDs used in the, in the industry. Uh, weld OLED, sock OLED, and a thread OLED. Uh, what is the takeoff for a four inch 45? That would be about two and a half inches. Uh, what is the formula for finding the wrench mouth size of a seven eighth hex heavy hex heavy hex bolts? It's a um, 1.5 plus an eighth. So in this case, it'd be one and seven sixteenths. Uh, what is the three four five method used for? Uh, basically, um, uh, it's just making sure that two pieces of steel or two pieces of pipe are square to one another. What does uh, TOS mean? That means top of steel. Uh, what is the formula for the takeoff for a two inch short radius 90? If it's a short radius 90, there really is no takeoff. It's just the diameter of the pipe itself. So it'd be two inches. Um, how many holes are drilled into a two inch 300 weld neck flange? Well, neck flange really isn't that important. It's the 300 series, what you're talking about. That would be eight holes. Um, what is the pilot hole diameter for the fitting? If you're running two inch pipes, you, so in, in the, the pilot holes, you want to go by the diameter of the pipe. It's going to be 11 sixteenths holes because you're running five eighths bolts. Uh, what is the outside diameter for a six inch schedule 40 pipe? So the outside diameter, that's, that's the tricky one. So it'd be uh, six and five eighths, okay? Because schedule 40 is uh, five sixteenths. Uh, three types of valves. It'd be check valve, ball valve, and the gate valve. RTJ, what does that mean? It's a ring type joint. That's the type of gasket that we use. Um, find the circumference of a 12 inch schedule 40. The circumference, uh, I believe that is a 40 and a 16th on that one. Uh, what is the distance for each degree around the outside diameter of, a, of the pipe? So I'm guessing this is kind of asking us about the same piece of pipe as A and B. And it says round to the nearest sixteenth of an inch for the degree. Um, let's see. I have to, I have to do that. So let's see. 12. That's 12 inches and three quarters times pi, which is 3.14. That's 40 and a 16th. And then we can divide by 360. So that gives us an eighth. So the answer to 12B is one eighth. Uh, what would the distance be if you measure 28 degrees around the outside diameter of the pipe? It says to give examples in simplest form. So we go back here. So an eighth times 28 degrees. So it'd be three and an eighth. So the answer to C is uh, three and one eighth. Then it says on D, uh, what is the outside diameter of the 12 inch schedule 40 pipes? So, so that'd be 12 and three quarters. Uh, what does the term schedule refer to? The, that's the thickness of the pipe wall. Uh, how much gap do you need for a two inch 90 socket weld? 
uh, that would be about an eighth of an inch. Uh, and then in a socket weld fit up, why is it important to leave a gap at the end of the pipe? Uh, you leave a gap in the end of the pipe, it's called a weld gap because for gas and, and a weld expansion, heat expansion basically. Um, so there's there's another one here, which I don't have. I don't have the, the the drawing. So this this particular part of the test is designed to be used with some type of drawing, also called ISO. So it's giving you 45 minutes, and this is pretty common. It says pipe fitter blue book and a calculator may be used in this portion of the of the exam. A pencil and two sheets of copy paper may be supplied upon request. So that's that's pretty much it. So it may so how many fill wells are needed? So I don't know. Like I said, I don't have the drawing, but basically you count the fill wells. What is the takeoff from item C? You don't know what item C is. What is the cut length of this this particular pipe? How many nineties are, are being used? Then ask for the cut length of this pipe, cut length of that pipe. Then it says what is the total change in elevation between the fill weld and this pipe? All very common questions, and believe it or not, I have been handed lots of drawings, engineering drawings, and I'd have to pretty much answer all these questions on an actual drawing, guys, because they were they were, the engineers are not the smartest people in the world. They leave a lot of information off these drawings. So you as the pipe fitter, it's why you make the big money, guys. You make the big money because you're supposed to know the, the answers to all these questions, man. But uh, there you go. Part two, how to pass pipe fitters test. So you guys uh, like and subscribe and follow for uh, more videos. Until you see you next time, have a blessed day.